like to know about steampunk, would you, teens? Well, I suppose I can teach you a thing or two. <laughs> if you're all about steam and brass, and all you need to depart is a team and a task, sharp set of gears and a gleaming arc, competitive robots seeking the start. If you're all about reaching far, seeking the game on secret charts, meeting in secret beneath the stars, loaded with pizza and feeling smart. If you're making a robot army, marching on for starting a party, something so wondrous, and a specially constructed electrical bus, so thunderous. Don't come to fuss, got a wonder last, and you're one of us. We pop steam punk need one of these jobs. Free power, free fun, here come the steam bus. Steam powered, steam powered, steam powered, steam powered, steam powered, steam powered, steam powered. Just bring your plans and plots and schemes. We've got the mechanics if you've got the dreams. All people, countries, cultures, teams. Welcome one and all to the age of steam. Keep it courteous, professional, worth it to work together in the first steam work. The future of technology is all that it seems. Welcome one and all to the age of steam. Steam powered, steam powered, steam powered. Steam powered, steam. Pushing past soot and factory grime All other groups to the back of the line We are the future, in fact, divine Gleaming machinery is seen to be reckoned with Every single member, an excellent gentleman or lady Creating, leading a steamship in between two the people need this You see, we're taking care of our crew Like we do our facial hair Be made aware when making improvements Don't call it a scene It's more of a movement more of an era Clearing the air, taking over, nearly there Students, coaches, mentors, teams Welcome one and all to the age of scene. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field and or airship, your master of ceremonies, Danny Blau! Good morning, St. Joseph! And welcome to the 2017 First Robotics Competition and this year's game, First Steamworks. We have some exciting match play lined up for you today as robots go about the field collecting fuel, delivering it to the boiler, bringing gears here onto the airship, and climbing the ropes and taking off and getting ready for flight. All right, we have some wonderful teams in attendance today. Please give a warm Indiana welcome for our 10 visiting teams from up north in Michigan. Oh, the rest of our teams come from all across the state of Indiana. We have teams from as far south as Bedford, from right here in South Bend. We have teams from Lafayette and from Fort Wayne. And we have our one rookie team coming in from Indianapolis. Give a warm first event welcome to team 6721, the Tindley Trailblazers. All right, let's get things started off with a video from our founders. Give it up for Dean Kamen, Don Bosi, and Dr. Woody Flowers. Welcome to the competition. It's almost time for liftoff. We know that you're all eager to show your strategy, creative design, and gracious professionalism in first Steamworks. But first, let's thank the folks who got you here. The mentors, sponsors, suppliers, parents, and a big thanks to all the volunteers and team members for making this another great season. First works because of your dedication, support, and determination. First also works, Don, because our teams work so hard to set themselves up for a successful future. They're in the game. Each week, competition reveals another lineup of amazing robot designs. You continue to impress with your creative design solutions. And over the course of the season, I'll bet you learn as much about yourself and teamwork as you do about your robot. But now it's time to fuel the boilers, make some steam, and launch the airships. First Steamworks is cleared for takeoff. Have a great flight. All right, now I'd like to welcome to the field our gracious host for the weekend, principal of Penn High School, Mr. Steve Hope. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Steve Hope, Principal of Penn High School. It is my pleasure, my honor, my privilege to welcome all of you to Penn High School to this first Robotics Regional Championship. Thank you, thank you for being here. A lot of people have put a lot of hard work and effort into making this day come to fruition. First, I want to acknowledge all of the teams who are here in just six short weeks have worked very hard as teammates, with their coaches, with their parent volunteers, to build a robot to do these incredible things you're going to see on the field today. Thank you, students.
In addition to all of that engineering that goes into making the robots work, all these students have worked tirelessly on PR, on fundraising, on communication. Also, great skills that are going to serve them well in the future, no matter what field they go into. So thank you for that as well. And although this is a competition, the competition itself is the least important part of what goes on today. I know that's what we're all here to see, and that's what the, the enthusiasm and the fun is. But all of that work that our students do with each other, with their coaches, with their mentors, adds up to being prepared for college, being prepared for work, being prepared for the real world problem solving that our society depends on. That's phenomenal. So I thank all of you for coming here to do that today. I do want to acknowledge a few people that made all of this happen today. Uh, first, Renee Blacker Black from Indiana First, thank you. Here at Penn High School, I want to acknowledge Team 135 coach, teacher, Jim Langfeld. And the STEM Academy leader here at Penn High School, Josiah Parker, who has worked tirelessly to make this happen today. And the Penn High STEM Academy assistant principal, Mrs. Rachel Fry. And of course, none of what you see today with Penn STEM Academy, the wonderful facilities that we have here at Penn High School, would be possible without leadership that we have outside of this school. And that starts with our superintendent, Dr. Jerry Thacker. <laughs> of course, helping him lead at the district level, our school board members, I'm not sure if they're here in the room, Mr. Jamie Woods, Mr. Larry Beeler, school board members here to help with us today. And then climbing that ladder of leadership, we have with us one of the greatest supporters of all Indiana students, all Indiana education, Mr. Ryan Mishler, Senator from Indiana. If you have a chance, please thank Senator Mishler for all his work for making all of this possible for all of our students here. Thank you. So, students, are you ready for the competition today? Coaches and teachers, are you ready for the competition today? <laughs> Parents, grandparents, siblings, are you ready for the competition today? <laughs> Wonderful. Once again, thank you. Welcome to Penn High School. Let the games begin. All right. Thank you, Principal Hope. Now, at this time, I'd like to welcome to the stage the President and CEO of the South Bend Regional Chamber of Commerce, please welcome Jeff Ray. Hey, on behalf of all of the people in South Bend and Mishawaka, St. Joe County, just want to say a big welcome and thank you for all of you coming. We've been really excited about what we've been seeing over the last few years on robotics. When they talked about the opportunity to host something in this area, we couldn't get more excited about it. We know you're here to focus on the competition here, but we hope while you're here, you have a chance to get out and enjoy a little bit of what our community has to offer. And hopefully, you'll come back, too. We think we've got some great things happening up in this part of the state. We know there's some great things happening your part as well, but we hope we come back. Back. I want to congratulate each of you for your, the great efforts that you're making in your schools. Our businesses are really excited about the future workforce that's, uh, that they're seeing here today. Our community couldn't be more excited to have you here, and we want to just wish you good luck as you have your competition. Thank you so much for being here. All right, now it's time for us to get to meet those folks in the blue shirts. Please give a warm round of applause for our judges, led out by our judge advisor, Mr. Jason Cleveland. Judges, if you could stand. <laughs> judges, we thank you for your time and effort. We know that you have a very difficult job this weekend. Um, teams, they're gonna be, as you know, they're gonna be coming through the pits, getting a chance to talk to you. So please, wow them with your expertise, wow them with your knowledge, and show off all the things that you've been working on for so many weeks and months. All right, we have another group of people here that we'd like to get to know more about the field. Um, they have a very tough job as well. They ensure fair play for all, 
and make sure that everybody competes with their utmost gracious professionalism. Their rulings are, as always, final, and there will be no video replay. Please welcome our herd of zebras, led out by our chief bumblebee. It's our head ref, Mr. John Kenfield. <laughs> Along with fair competition, safety is our first priority. You can have fun and be safe all at the same time. Please welcome our lead safety advisor, Nick Leach. And now, please give a warm congratulations to the championship safety animation winners, Team 3691, the Robo Raiders from Northfield, Minnesota. And now we'll play their wonderful safety animation. utopian universe where safety actually comes first, students are taught the importance of safety in a technology-dominated world. This level of education would not be possible without the fantastic leadership of the safety captains and mentors who set excellent examples of what it means to be safe. They do this through lessons on safe tool and machining usage, stressing good communication when something in the shop is not safe. They encourage the use of proper safety equipment such as goggles, vests, helmets, and welding gloves in the appropriate situations. Eventually, the students gain the ability to police themselves. Less time wasted to accidents means more time for innovation and engineering. As the students grow up, they themselves become the captains and mentors teaching the next generation of bright minds. This cycle of safety education keeps the utopia alive. All right, and speaking of safety, we'd like to make sure that you and your teams have a safety plan as well. So mentors, please communicate with your teams uh, where the nearest exit is and where to meet in the event of an evacuation. All righty, we're moving on, here we go. Um, in FIRST, we learn a lot of very valuable and important skills, from engineering to computer skills, business and interpersonal skills, time management, and grit and determination. Colleges, universities, and companies want and recognize these skills, and they want you. Nearly 200 colleges and universities are making available more than 50, that's five zero, 50 million dollars in scholarships for alumni of the FIRST programs. Many of these scholarships can go to any alumni from FTC to FRC, no matter what college or major they uh, are seeking. Also, there is a new internship portal up on the FIRST website for all of the companies who are looking to hire all of you as interns to come work for them. So go check out both of those, the, the internship portal and also the FIRST scholarship webpage. And now we also, we have a brief scholarship video, so we'll uh, turn our attention back to the big screen and check out that. This is the story of invention. The sudden creation of something never before imagined. A marvel that changes our understanding what is possible? Behind every new beginning is the spark of inspiration, an idea brought to life by the stirring in someone's heart. The dreams of today are but visions of tomorrow, blossoming in young minds. Minds that will one day solve problems that have challenged us for centuries. Minds that already brim with promise. We are first, and we are here to open doors for great minds. First participants and alumni gain access to our network of hundreds of providers and millions of dollars in scholarship money, available exclusively to first participants around the world. With our support, hundreds of thousands of young minds have launched themselves onto exciting and fulfilling paths that will one day change the world. You've already taken the first step. Let us help you find out how much farther the road goes. This is Here at FIRST, we have an award that recognizes individual students' efforts from their teams. You all know this as the FIRST Dean's List. At this time, I would like to invite all students who have been nominated by their teams for the FIRST Dean's List to please stand so that we can honor your unbelievable contribution and achievement.
Mentors and coaches are critical to the FIRST experience, and this is something that FIRST prides itself on and separates it from other robotics competitions. FIRST mentors often mentor in multiple of the FIRST family of programs, really proving that this is more than robots. FIRST will meet you wherever you are in life. Whatever you can contribute, whatever capacity you have, there is a FIRST program for you, from junior FIRST Lego League all the way through to the FIRST Robotics competition. So let's give a rousing, loud, bright and early in the morning round of applause for all of the mentors, coaches, teachers, and parents that are here in the room. And this is some very, very cool news. Last night, Indiana First, as part of the Indianapolis Brackets for Good tournament, advanced to the supported 16 round of the tournament. Now, this is a, can be a very big fundraiser for both the state of Indiana and for the, the teams, as you guys took advantage of this greatly last year. Last year, as part of the Brackets for Good tournament, Indiana First raised over $15,000 in addition to the over $20,000 that each of the teams raised by using the bracket, by, by, by using brackets for good. Now, teams, you can still use brackets for good to help donate for your teams. There, and this is open to any team competing here this weekend from Indiana or Michigan, so long as you have a nonprofit or school organization that can take the donation. Now, because there is some administration of time that, is, that goes along with processing those donations and getting them out to the teams, this year Indiana First will take a 10% of those donations that come in, but all of the rest of the money will go to your teams. Simply add in the memo line of your donation which team you'd like it to go to, and Indiana First will see that the money goes where it's supposed to. So the next round of Brackets for Good concludes next Friday at 8 p.m. So please take a look at the website. It's a lot of fun. It's really exciting, especially right around that uh, 8 o'clock mark. Um, and help Indiana First and all the teams raise a bunch of money and advance to the next round. And if we get all the way to the very end, there's a very big grand prize out there waiting for us. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you could please stand, remove all hats and attire, and welcome to the field. Our chorus from Team 135, Mackenzie Richards, Lizzie Heisler, and Maya Heisler. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets declare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the Welcome our drive teams out onto the field. Let's turn these robots on, and we are going to get match one underway just as fast as we can. Stick with us. The action is about to begin. 